All right, if you're not looking at the TV, I want you to look at the TV. Does your closet look like this? Just full of boxes? You're using all these things, but the empty boxes are just, well, here, gathering the dust. Now, if this is a point of contention in your household, I gotta tell you, you're not alone. You could probably go into any room in the house and open a closet door or look, you know, tuck in one of the corners and you'll find a, a box tucked there for a laptop or a speaker or, uh, or a telephone. I would say we have at least two dozen boxes from electronic items tucked away somewhere in this house. Okay, so you're not the only one that keeps the boxes, but do you really need these boxes and for how long? Consumer Reports has the ins and the outs on that, so let's take a look. You need to keep the box during the 14 to 90 day return window, especially if we're talking about expensive electronics. CR also says keeping the box while the manufacturer's warranty is in effect, that will make it easier if you have to send an item back. And you wanna save the box to store a device that you may not use every day or to simply keep track of all the extra parts like a battery or a cord. Here's another reason. If it's an item that you think that you might resell, people are much more likely to buy it when it's in the box. Aha, uh -huh. besides keeping the box that your TV, electronic or appliance came in, here's something else that you can do to protect your purchase. And that is, you need to register your product. If there's not a registration card in the box, look online for the registration. This is going to help you get faster warranty support, troubleshooting information and recalls as well.